has impersonated Sanders recently on the show. That is all coming up live at 1030. Many SNL stars, past and present, got their start doing improvisational comedy. New Channel 5's Art Holiday caught up with some St. Louisans who have fallen in love with improv in the Central West End. Everyone on stage just looked like they were having so much fun. Pow! 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 At first glance, an unruly group of class clowns. Nuns in a blender. <laughs> Somebody, stop. Stop. Why doesn't the teacher do something? Three, four, trippity, trippity, trop. trop. Mm, gippity, gippity, gop. Yeah. Seems the teacher is the ringleader. And I'm not here to tear anybody down. I'm here to build everybody up. I still liked it because um, you guys were patient and you took your time and you thought you were very thoughtful in what your next line of dialogue was going to be. Unlike regular school where they separate the class clowns, the improv shop encourages being the funniest kid in class. I also hope the wax isn't too hot. Oh, and yes, it is too hot. Oh. Instruction at the improv shop is heavily influenced by Second City, the farm club for Saturday Night Live, and the launch pad for comedy careers. Faye, Poehler, Carell, and Colbert. With the popularity of Amy Poehler and Tina Fey and, and everybody from SNL, uh, and them talking about it in their books, it seems to be one of those things that people are like, I think I'll give this a try. So I'm an actor in the St. Louis area, and acting no matter what market you're in, it's always helpful to have to build your skill set. And improv is such an important skill set to have. So you're a teacher's pet. Reminding the teacher about the quiz is not a teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm very nervous in front of a crowd, and uh, I was very nervous giving a tour, so I thought improv would help. A coworker suggested I try it. I just moved to town and wanted to meet some friends outside of work, and heard about the shop through a friend. Uh, came to a show one night and was like, "Yep, that's for me." I've been in a new drink. It's called a mojito. You want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> for the level five students, the advanced students, these improv classes are like comedy college. And after a year, graduation's getting close. So you're never really done learning, but you can always say you're a graduate of the improv shop. We get a nice button that says, I'm a graduate and I'm awesome. Monday nights are awesome. This is a super special night, as you probably know. It's one of our student showcase nights. Woo! I worked hard to trap those bears. <laughs> well, I worked hard laying in the trap. <laughs> <laughs> in order to bring out the inner masculinity of your kind. Do you agree, yes or no, a verbal non-commitment is all I need? Okay. <laughs> Clowns to the left, jokers to the right. At the Improv Shop. In the Central West End, Art Holiday, News Channel 5, on your side. Improvisational comedy classes at the Improv Shop range from beginner to advanced. Thousands packed Soulard for the annual Mardi Gras parade. Uh, to the Zika as well. Okay, so many of you will turn into Saturday Night Live tonight. Many SNL stars got their start doing improvisation, no comedy. In the Central West End, St. Louisans are apparently flocking to improv classes. Everyone on stage just looked like they were having so much fun. Everyone was smiling, laughing, clapping. I've been in a new drink. It's called a mojito. You want to try it? <laughs> Well, many, maybe you just moved to St. Louis and you wanted to make a new friend or you're a tour guide getting over your shyness. All of these people have their reasons for signing up for a year of improv comedy classes at the Improv Shop. Be sure to join News Channel 5's Art Holiday and see why these class clowns say they are having the time of their lives doing improv. That is tonight at 10. It was warm today, but not warm enough 